Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Uh, the topic for tonight is the false narrative of black women using black men for free meals. And basically, uh, I'd like to start it off by saying that I don't really, I think that there are some women that actually do use women do use men for uh free meals and stuff but as far as uh as far as i'm about to say but as far as uh the, as, a, as a majority is i don't want to say. my whole thing with the whole oh hey asian how, how are you did you get the invite Yes, what's up? Hey, what's going on with you, sis? What's good with you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Been a long time. Yeah, I know. So what's just, going on? just tell everybody about you and uh I want once you go first, so what's your thoughts about the whole uh you know, black women using black men for free meals and stuff? Well, to me, I I, I just feel like it, it's it's all about how you I think it's about how you look at it, you know, like um, if you think that a woman is using you over um, because you took her out and bought her a little twenty dollar ass meal. Yeah. Um, Thirty dollars at the most. Uh, then you shouldn't be dating because women have to know before you get the smile and the stuff. Hey, you hey, you already know what I do. You already know. Like, this is me. Okay. Go on. Okay, but listen, women have to require something. If not, then they're just gonna be getting used up. So Pretty I much. feel like if you, if I feel like if she just don't require nothing, I mean, if, what what is this? What is he coming into her life for? What does he want? Because I have a lot of dudes that be in my inbox trying to talk to me and stuff. And if they can't explain to me what benefit I'm going to get from dealing with them, then there's no reason to be us to go further. Because you're not finna come in my life and use me up and think you ain't finna do shit for me. It does not work that way. And a lot of times, I'm sorry, a lot of times these dudes have the, the, the game twisted. Yeah. You can, and, and, and you know what, though? I will say it is a lot of women who will, they, they be thirsty. They just want a woman to, um, they want a woman, like they want a man. I'm sorry. They want a man really bad and they'll just let a man just use them up and they don't require nothing. Just be my man. I ain't, I ain't with that shit. And, 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 and on top of that, don't come in my inbox with that shit. Cause the answer is no. Just like I just told someone not too long ago, uh, what are you trying to, I mean, what are you trying to get at? Like you in my, he was like, well, I just want you to come over and, and, and chill. I don't, I don't do the, uh, come with me and chill. Shit. Yeah. If you don't want to, you don't want to do nothing. You don't want to spend nothing. Then that's fine. But you, you're not going to come and, uh, <laughs> use me up and don't give me shit. It ain't, they don't work. <laughs> okay. Well, well, my position is basically as a man, you're the one that's going out there approaching and trying to make stuff and what stuff happen with the woman. So as the man, uh, you're you're trying to date her, you're trying to court her, and I feel like wherever the location is, is really is really your choice because you're you're supposed to lead the interaction. So if a woman is using you for your money, your resources, or whatever you want to call it, that's really on you because you should be the one leading, saying, "Hey, let's go to a walk in the park. Let's go we meet with Starbucks. Let's do." Um, let's just do, let's, you know, like I said, let's work, you know, work in, walk in the park and stuff like that. Just, just something, something real simple. If you know you're not going to want to go to a Applebee's or, uh, Old Charlie or Chili, something like that for a two for 20, you know, I don't feel like that should be an issue for a lot of black men because they'll be quick to buy shoes or buy clothes, $50 or wait a whole a uh, day or two for a video game release or a concert or a movie 
DB, something like that. You know, you don't mind spending your money there. So you don't, you don't, so you have an issue with going to, you know, going to a, a nice outing and meeting her and getting to know her. You know, that's really what I thought a date was, you know, not to, not to try to think you're going to get some at the end of the night. It's really, it's a meet and greet. Right. And the thing, yeah. like, what makes you think that somebody got to give you, you, especially if you came to that woman and you wanted to, 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 to court her and, and talk to her and, but, but you don't want to take her out or do nothing for her. I, I mean, what do you think? I mean, are you just, I don't know, but me and this one dude, I remember me and this one dude who had got into it really, really bad because he told me that he felt like, dating was just a waste of um he said he thought it was a waste of time and that it'd be best if i pick a park for us to meet in yeah <laughs> i mean i don't know why he's not taking taking a role and, and let you know like this is what we're trying to what i'm trying to do with you and let you know and let you choose that what you want to do you know Right, but I, I just think, and and I'm not saying that this is every guy, but I think most men want. A, well, I ain't gonna say most. A lot of them want something for nothing. Yeah, I agree. That, that's just simple as that. You want to, because that's all you really trying to do is use this woman up, anyways. <laughs> but you don't want to do anything for her. Exactly. You know, you're not really trying to talk to her and stuff. You're just trying to use her and stuff like that. You know, it's not like right. you're trying to. Really date her, core her, meet her family, meet her friends, that That's kind of stuff. So I don't really know why you're complaining about, you know. And then you don't want her to say nothing. You don't want her to say nothing to you about nothing you're doing to her. You just yeah. want her to be able to just. You just want her to shut the fuck up and let you just use her up, and and that, that doesn't pretty work. Much, you know, it really, pretty much. You know, we're, we're kind of expecting not to deposit into. The women, we just expect to take, 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 and she don't have to, she don't have to give nothing back to us. You know, that's basically what right. child is. I'm, I'm, out. I'm, at, I'm wondering, like, where is this narrative coming from? Exactly. Is it the women? Because no, it's a lot like of women. It's like men. Like men are telling other men, uh, you know, go on these cheat dates, or if you're going on dates, uh, you don't want to spend that much money, you're not going to get any ass, basically, you know, because, you know, you're sitting up there spending all this money on her and she's not giving you any play, then why are you doing all that? You know, because basically, they're basically saying, because there's some guy that's getting her and he's not doing half the stuff. He's not dating her. He's not crazy. He's not taking her out. So why should you, you know, why you? Why should you be the sucker, you know? So, but, but can I ask, <laughs> boy, y'all dudes, boy. So can I ask this question? Why is that seen as some sucker shit? Like, where did this shit come from? Where you do something for a woman, it, it's like it 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 boils these like it just does something to y'all to even have to give a woman some money, uh, take her out, be seen with her. All kind, I mean, what I what I don't understand about uh a lot of these guys is what is your purpose for dealing with a woman? Period. It's it, well, most of us is safe. It's, I mean, it's safe. That's it. I mean, you don't want to. They want. They don't want to be seen with you. They don't want to take you out. They don't want to hold your hand. They don't want to kiss you. They don't want to. Oh, see like, you. What, what you want? They don't want. They just want to. They just want to have. They just want to. They just want to have sex. That's it. You know. That's it. They don't care what about they you. Don't. They don't care about yeah. you. I'm trying to tell you, they do not. They do not care about you. Outside of that, they do not care. Outside of the bedroom, they do not care about you. They don't care about your goal, your accomplishment, your schoolwork. They don't care about all that stuff. They just. They just want it. That's it. And, and this is exactly this is exactly why I have to say, like I have to I have to treat them the way that I do sometimes because again you cannot come into like some women will let you do that to them because yeah. a lot of them they thirsty like they just want some part of a man and uh, some of them will let you just come in and use them up and come back just whenever you want to. But uh, like Kale said, just be up yeah, front. Yeah. Be up front. You never know what. You ne <laughs> <laughs> You're hey, we 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 fucked. Uh, we just need a date. Rich men, not broke ass black men. It's like buying a new ride and never drive or take care of it. Okay. <laughs> Get him. Get him. I hear you. 
But Adrian, Adrian, yeah, my thing, I think with the whole honesty is as a man, you already know what you want. You should you should you should already know that before you approach a woman. If you just want to have sex or you really trying to take her out and get to know her and stuff, you should already know that. You shouldn't have to you really should have, you really you really should have to go on like three, four dates to kind of know you just want to smash. You can let her know that that way she gets the option to make pick and choose if that's what she wants. You know, you don't have to there's no there's no point of trying to go on dates and you try just trying to have sex. There's no point. You know? Right. So that's why I was saying like I, I mean the nowadays oh, hey, it seems like what's guys, going on, sis? What's going on, Christian? Hey y'all. It seems like nowadays I mean, what can a woman do? Because it's like just what you said, a lot of them just don't they don't care. They just they don't care. Uh, you know, they're after that one thing. Yeah, you know? that one thing. You know. <laughs> don't care. But I'm saying, saying, like, what can women do? Women that are wanting relationships, they want love. Like, what can they do? They can only, and then women get dragged for settling for the men that's in their environment. Like, they yeah. get, especially a black, oh, Jesus. Yeah, then, then they try to date outside of the race is issue. You know, so it's really right. It's really so it's crazy. like, what can we do? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? A lot of you know, a lot of black men talking about, oh, they don't dread, they don't want to date black women because y'all not feminine enough, y'all not submissive enough. I'm thinking like, we but haven't you really. Wanna built... lay up and fuck yeah, on, you want to fuck her, but you ain't trying to like build. Like, you ain't trying to aspire her to be greatness. You know, to her true potential. You know, you just trying to lay down. You ain't really trying to do nothing. Like that's just wasting. You know, it's well, just that's what I'm saying. Like, what? Yeah. And you know, we outnumber the men as it is. And yeah. if there, if a lot of them doing this shit, I mean, what can a woman do? Either she gonna settle or be by herself. Yeah, and like there's always like what a, can she do? Yeah, true. There's always a double standard. You know what I'm saying? If she bait, she get with a broke dude. Why you? Why you mess around with bums and get somebody with money? Today's money, today's a dude that got money. Why you gold digging? Why you just dang dudes with money? That's like, why I say it's, yeah, it's like a lose-lose. Really. Let's keep, let's right, keep it's like going. a lose-lose situation for a woman. Money. Like, it it don't matter what a woman does, especially a black one, she gonna get judged regardless. Because every, just like when a man, if a man does something wrong to a woman, and yeah. she complains or says anything about what he did to her, everybody yeah. gonna be trying to hush her and say, well, you should have choose better. You should have did this. You should have did that. But if she get up and leave a man every time he do something to her, that's still gonna be a problem because then her body count is too high. Yeah, you know, like about five high. niggas she done fucked or something they gonna say to that yeah. effect. So what can a one, like, it, it's really no... Yeah, really she's no in a legal situation because if she's out there having sex, then it's an issue. If she's talking about she's celibate, she's not. She's gonna wait till marriage to have sex. It's still an issue. So she really in lose the situation. You know, once again, still one of those double. And brilliant, that is sad. Brilliant mind, that's really sad. Like I, it's it don't, sad. Really, it, don't, it don't really matter because she's still in lose the situation. If she waits, if she's fucked. If she has sex, oh, you're this. You're you're everything but a, a, a woman of God. Because it's like you know why are you have sex outside of marriage or you know you're having sex too fast. But then, you know, if you have sex on the first date, you're this. But if you make them wait, oh, you're using me for my resources, my money and stuff like that. I'm like, what do y'all What do y'all want? Let me know. That's what, what I, want. that is what I be trying to Let me know tell. what y'all want. Fellas, let me know what y'all want. Y'all want them the first night or y'all want them to wait until there's some good girl, bad girl with the basically the same woman. But, okay, I'm going to. If I have sex kind of too early, I'm this. If I make this do wait, then you're this, you're that. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't really get what the whole deal is trying the Monica to. Said, the Monica said there is, she said you win, like you're winning when you're by yourself. Like by and in yourself. a sense, that's true. Yeah. In a sense, that's true because you have a peace of mind. But you know, we got some women out here that cannot be by themselves. Yeah. I don't care. They, it, it, even if it means <laughs> he could just stop by one night and 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 screw her and and send her on, it it just long as she had some piece of a man. Like you got some women out there like that. Yeah, so, when they say I'm not, I rather really have I rather have a piece of a man than have a whole man. You know, I better have a piece right, of a man. Right. Yeah. Ooh, uh, yeah. That, that kind of that kind of been be a for a long time. You know, it has been a lot of women feel that way, but but still, 
again, I, I still don't understand, like, what can a woman do? She really can't do much because she really being silent. She don't, they don't want you to talk. They don't want you to have emotions. You can't have no feelings. They want you to just, just, just to shut up, really, you know? And see, that's how I feel about them. I want them to shut the hell up yeah. and just be the man. Yeah. I do. Because... Yeah. I, I feel like they do too much complaining, especially about stupid shit that ain't that they don't even they don't even pertain to them like weed. I'm to my uh, dudes on here talking about weed more than women are, and they they're not the ones that has to wear this shit. So why do you always have such a strong opinion exactly. about it? Exactly, yeah, like I said, I don't have an issue with you know brothers having a preference, but to keep trying to go in and out on about weeds and not having real hair and extensions, all that stuff, I don't I don't agree with all that, you know. I'm talking about they, that's how they judge some of these women based off if they wear weed. Yeah. I don't care about them. That's, that's messed up. Because I'm going to wear my weed. There's hey, no power. <laughs> hey, no <laughs> power. Hey, no power. Power the ones that do wear, you know, long as you put, long as you put together. I, I ain't tripping, you know. I ain't, you know, <laughs> I'm not a brother to be tripping and stuff over there, you know. Just saying. <laughs> wear your weeds out, you know, long as you look presentable, that's good. <laughs> Brilliant mindset, so that vagina right on up, and you know that's that's oh, wow. cool. <laughs> hey, that's what you. That was, that's what a lot of people think they need to do. Do, but, do so you know, it don't really matter what happened, y'all. Y'all get blamed for so do you? That's all right, right. because mm. also something else I've noticed they, uh, these guys be mad at women too who don't, you know, put them who ain't chasing up behind them. They yeah. is all either way is gonna be a problem. Yeah, like I said, it's always an issue. People get upset, get upset, get mad, you know, wanna wanna take their ball, go home and stuff like that. You know, we, we just gotta I like I mean we keep talking about women be all over the place, be emotional, all over the place, but we're not really being logical too, because we'll we'll say one thing, we'll contradict ourselves, you know. So you know Right. We, so it's really, I, I don't I don't know. I it's like as a woman I feel like I'm in a stuck like I'm in a stuck spot, especially dealing with a lot of these guys out here because these guys think that they can, you know, it's like they the way they try to talk to a woman, they think they so used to being able to just cuss a woman, just rip her down to the flow. But see, they don't understand. I, I do the same thing back to them. Yeah, exactly. They're verbal abusers and so am I. Exactly, yeah, yeah facts, facts. That's why I was like, you know, it's... Oh, I don't know what to say. And then sometimes you got women out here that are strictly like race first. Because to me, women to me are way more loyal to me than a lot of these guys. Oh are. yeah, I see y'all are y'all more loyal. I mean, I, I, I agree with that. You know, I feel like a lot of brothers and, they can't take it. You know, they they want to go and we under and Becky or whatever you want to call it. But that's not me. Amir, Amir that's says. Funny. Amiri says that blacks are women are not innocent. <laughs> Come on, I'm man. not saying they're innocent, but I'm not I saying they're innocent. Think, right, we're not saying they're innocent, but I do think that uh, if you feel like because you're buying like a, a $20 meal or some shit and, 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 and somebody using you and you the one came to that person trying to get with that person. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the real issue is the entitlement, though. Entitlement, you, you're entitled to her. Her body just because you did took her out. Like I don't, I don't agree with all that. You know all that. Oh, I took you out. So you that, but, that, but they say that we have entitlement issues. This is what they're saying. They're saying that we are the ones with the entitlement issues. We just don't. Oh, a woman yeah, just don't want to feel yeah, used. And and in some it. cases, I feel like men don't want to feel. I I feel like both sexes to me don't want to feel used. So one requires sex, the other requires yeah, money or a meal or whatever. Neither person want to feel that way. Yeah, and like I said, I do agree with that. People just... Amiri like, said we're verbal abusers. Y'all are verbal abusers. Nah, I'm not right, play victim. I'm just, I am just a verbal abuser. abuser. You hear me? Because if, if they say anything out the way to me, yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm get them. Yeah. So I, I agree with that in a sense. But still, I, I I feel like women are in a lose lose situation. Yeah. They are. And then they get dragged and for every move they make. 
They get yeah. women get judged based on what the man does to them. Yeah. Like I said, he doesn't. So, have, he doesn't have to show you anything. He just has to have uh, an eggplant between his legs, and he's already qualified. I guess he doesn't have to show you. He can protect you. He can provide for you. He can nurture you. He can, uh, you know, do all kind of stuff to make sure to prove to you that he's worthy of you just spending time with him. He doesn't have to do all of that. He just have. He just have to exist. You know. That's how a lot of these brothers right. feel like. Feel, feel like. And, that, that, and, and what's crazy is. They require so much out of a woman. Like, yeah. like sometimes they, they ain't even, they don't want to get a woman a relationship. They don't want to take her out. They don't want to do nothing for her, but they want her to cook. They want her to clean. They want her to yeah, give them stuff. They want to do all um, this yeah, extra. Try to give them like, wife, like, wife benefits to a, not even to a girlfriend, just to a, just to a random dude. You want him, you want her to cook. Clean said, oh, Whitney, you made such a good point. Whitney yeah. said, yes, we get judged. They get praised. Yeah, yes, yeah. True. Oh, yes. So that's why I'm. That's why I be uh mad. Like I be because I feel like we don't. Our community spends too much time trying to police everything a woman does. True. True. They never ever say it. Like a man gets praised for how many women he done slept with. He exactly. is. He's the man. He he. Exactly. Yeah, all, that, all that all that social conditioning. <laughs> all that social conditioning. All that's like upbringing, you um, you know, you're ever since you're a little boy, and you know, you crazy when you, uh, you know, when you get you get a girl's number, or you sleep with her, you're like, cool, cool, son, good job, son. But the daughter's like, how dare oh, you? How dare you sleep with that boy? I'm, I'm gonna put you on timeout or punishment, whatever you want to call it. But a man, cool. right? So, man, so, do we know that when we do we know that when we praise men for how many? people they're sleeping with, do we know that that is also teaching them to use a woman up and exactly. dispose of her? It's a numbers game with men. Yeah. But see, a woman, if she does it, then she's, you know, she, ooh, she get dragged. <laughs> a woman get dragged for doing that. But we want a woman to be able to pick the correct man while we praise a man for using her up. True. How does that work? How does that work? I think the only how can she? I mean, some may be able to pick a decent man. Some, yeah. yeah. It just depends on that man. He has to want to give it to her. Whatever True. it is, women naturally want it. The men got to give it to them. True, but the... so that's why I said, huh? Oh no, no, no. You go on, go on. So that's why I'm saying we want a woman to be able to pick the correct man while we teach. You know, we praise the man by how he mistreats her. Yeah. So how can she do that? Some can, but not every woman gonna be able to do that because men, again, men get praised by how many women they use of course, up and dispose. Of really, really, why is that? The reason why the case is because it's a lot. It's a lot harder for a lot of men to get a lot of women to have a rotation that kind of no, stuff. So no, I don't think it's hard. I don't think it's hard. Okay. Yeah. I think it's it's too many thirsty women out here that are willing to do whatever to have a man. I don't, I do. I don't know, man. I got I, I disagree with you. I mean, I, I agree on, on the last part, but I disagree as far as men is easy for men to, um, you don't think so? to have a lot of, have a rotation. I think that's really tough for a lot of men, you know, um, so. Uh, you <laughs> well, that's, I, well, okay, that's why we disagree at, you know, <laughs> a lot of brothers, they don't have confidence to approach and, Makes that happen with women. You know, they fear or they see someone and they're like, oh, she out my league. Or they self talk already messes messes them up and they don't really approach her. They don't really try to get stuff going. So they'll, they'll end up getting somebody and they'll hold on to her even though she has been disrespectful. She has been, you know, flaky or she hasn't been treating him with respect. And they'll, they'll gloss over her just to say that they have somebody next to them. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm you, like, you said crazy. You said men. Are you saying that's what men will yeah, do? Yeah, I'm saying men. Yeah, I, yeah it's too weird. I don't know. I don't know. So you don't know. And then we, the, I don't know about that, but I mean, it could be true, though. Yeah. But I, I'm saying, and then we also keep trying to tell women that, uh, you know, that they should keep their legs closed. I mean, all, how is that going to work? All that's condition. How are you going to tell her to keep her legs closed but men are? Constantly trying to open them up. They're like, come on now. Right. Men yeah. require sex. Yes, they yeah. do. They, yeah. they require sex. And if and again, if you don't give it to them, you might as well pass them over to the next woman. 
Period. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So you're getting upset when she, um, she had when she opened her leg, but yet you're getting upset when she closed her leg. So, like I said, all that's all that's conditioning, you know. Because that's why I was asking, like, if we're gonna keep telling women to keep their legs closed, how many men are willing to be with a woman that does not give them sex? That's mm -hmm. that's that's a, that's that's like a negative five. Not... There is nobody. There's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna wait till I'm married to have sex with this woman. But yeah, you expect her to wait because so she's married to have sex with you. That 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 doesn't that doesn't sound right, you know. Jolicia, right? Manipulation. Manipulation, right. of course, of course, manipulation. See, you want her to be having zero body count, but yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. By the time you're 35, 40, you get married, you want to get married. Well, she's supposed to get married by 30, 30, have kids or not have kids. If she don't have kids, have kids, then it's always an issue, you know. And then how how do they want these inexperienced freaks? They want these women that's like so good at the bed, but they don't want them to have no body count. None of exactly, that. Because a man just like, he doesn't want to have an image. Bro. You've already done been with another dude, like regardless. Yeah, that's false. This is false thinking. He doesn't want to have that image, and you already, you know, going down another man and shit. He don't want to have that image, even though that's that's unrealistic, you know. It is some some things I do think is very unrealistic, and and it's always something with black women. Like black everyday black women are doing something to somebody. Black women didn't choose this man, right? She didn't choose that. Yeah, man, always right? complain about. But either all way, season. all I'm gonna use her up. So <laughs> yeah, you know, she's pretty much she picking who gonna mistreat her. Yeah, Basically, pretty much. You no. Know. And then always he talked he about oh right she only picks the thugs and only gives a thug. She looks over the nice guy. But let's just keep let's just keep it real. You know, as nice as as black men, we wasn't out there approaching. We was in our books. We wasn't really paying attention to women like that. We was well see we said, if they want us to wait until marriage to have sex, then who are they going to have sex with? Each yeah. other? But they show sure not gonna wait. They not gonna wait. They, they're, they're, not not gonna wait. Gonna wait. they're not waiting. They're not waiting until they say, "All right, dude, to to have sex with you." Like they not doing all that. No. So why oh, do you no. keep? This is what all that's conditioning. That I'm trying to tell you, all that's conditioning. You've been you've been conditioned to think that way. You know, we, we, we've been watching all these Disney movies and all these Pixar and, <laughs> and all these upbringing. Oh, you know, she's supposed to be tainted to find the one. She's supposed to have a zero body count. Supposed to cook, clean, and do all kinds of stuff, you know. So that's why. And that's that's what I'm saying. Like it's a lose lose situation for a woman. So when we drag black women every day, like a lot of us do, why aren't we considering these things? You want this woman to be able to pick the the uh, a better choice in a world full of men we done taught to use her up and mistreat her. Yeah, I think true. How does that work? This is why I need to write a book, Jonathan, because some of this shit need to get out to these women. <laughs> women, to me, are off in la-la land somewhere when it come down to dating. Because if they think that, that because a lot of them stuck with this notion that, that Prince Charming coming out of nowhere to say, that's that Disney movie shit we would that, yeah, that's that what Disney, it is. Yeah, all that Disney, Walt Disney, <laughs> Snow White, uh, Pocahontas, all that snow, yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, you're going to find the one, the Prince Charming and Romeo and stuff like that, you know. So you got to start You gotta start with your kids young. Let them know this is fake. You got to let them know, like, look, this is not real life, okay? I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this is where it needs to start off right now, that this is not real, okay? Not the real and world. so I just kind of feel like it, it, we got to be more – open and honest with women when it comes to the dating game, the dating dynamic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know where they're getting that this Prince Charming no, they, is they coming from uh, really out of nowhere to just, save them. It's not even really a dating game. It's just a dude's going out there. Let me holler at like 20 girls. Hopefully one of them 20 girls give you some play. That's basically what, what the dating game is. Then ain't like, I'm trying to build with you. I'm supposed to I'm going to be with you to death to do us part. It's not like that. It's like, look, can I, how many women can I get? Are we going to, are we Right, that's what I was saying. I mean, and, but, but, don't really care but about if a shit. woman, if a woman says anything about, you know, how the men are, she, she bitter. 
Exactly. She, because she angry, she, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, I just feel like it's it's too much. Like, I just feel like it's too much. Yeah. Too much. And then we put all this, pre it's, the onus is on the woman. The onus is on her to 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 go find a husband, get yeah. married, uh, uh, um, keep her legs closed, go yeah. to school, do this and do that. I, I mean, we got the woman covering the community like she a dude or something. Then we want to complain and say she too manly, but everything is on her. And what I'm saying, we can complain that oh she too masculine, she not feminine. I'm like we haven't built nothing for her to 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 nourish in her femininity, you know. Brilliant mindset, you become the devil when you tell the truth. That's true, because I know a lot of people done call me Satan, but I don't care. Okay, Tam said men and women have to be realistic. Relationships are simply a person just existing, not not living. My, okay, then you Hey, Roxanne, go. Hey. <laughs> okay, then you said, my thing stop giving a fuck about these dudes. Give your happiness and live life. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that, I mean. <sighs> Okay, that's some advice we can take. But again, there are still women out here that want a mate. Yeah. Like they want someone. You and know, then, then I feel like all... the woman. My fault, I didn't cut you off. Hey, Akita. Oh, hey, Akita. What's going on, sis? How are you today? You doing all right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, but there, and, 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 you know, everybody want women to just, you know, okay, let's just say they say, well, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't want no man. That's still a problem. Yeah, it's still an issue. Oh, I don't want a That's man. It's still gonna be a problem. It's still when, gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's still an issue. And then when then when women say they do need a man, then he's nowhere to be found. You know, and when then, and, and then position, she that, he never be. If she say that, she sound desperate. Yeah. If she say she want, if a woman says that she want a man, she sound desperate. True. If she say, well, look, fuck it, I don't want no man. I'm good. She hey, better. Sandra, I mean, hey, what can she? The show. What can a woman do? Like a woman can't even operate as a human. She can't have feelings. She can't have an opinion. She can't. Black women can't have an opinion in their own community where they have to do all the work. Exactly. How is too, that so? Y'all too, too masculine. Y'all too independent and stuff. Right. No. How you can't have an opinion? You gotta do everything. Yeah, I mean, I don't. And like I said, I don't. I don't hey Danielle, girl. You said hey. good stuff, y'all. All right, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. You know. Like I said, I don't know how you're supposed to be the head, the leader, and everything is on the woman. I don't know other communities right. where, where the black, where the man is not the the leader. He doesn't take the the blame, you know. You know, like right. I said it's, last it's time. It's very. It's I don't. It's it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot when it comes down to a woman, and I don't understand why we're having. Love you too, Danielle. I don't I understand why too, we're baby, having baby, such baby. a hard. Like why we're so hard on the woman like that? Yeah, I mean, we make it so, because... she got the. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this. A, a woman is expected to navigate through a, a a community that that's really taught to prey on her. Pretty much taught to just be against her. Yeah. And then if she say something, if she say, "Well, look, can y'all stop doing this to me?" Yeah. It's like, oh, you need to go pick someone else. But if she get up and leave. Every time a man do something to her, yeah, her body count too high. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you're supposed to be just, just, just be, just, just this, you know, endure all the cheating, manipulation, uh, him stepping out on you, you know, just, just endure it because you're, you're, if you're, if you try to step up and try to lead or leave, then it's an issue, you know, you know, right? Like, abuse, cheating on you, have, like you with the era, I like. With the situation with Sierra, what did y'all want Sierra to do? Exactly, that's my boy. Oh, okay, Russell Wilson. Okay, you know. I mean, uh, it, it to me it seems like a a black woman, regardless, she's damned either way. Damned if she do, damned if she don't. Pretty much, it's still gonna be a problem no matter what she does. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty still, much. like even the way they even complain about the way black women take pictures. Yeah. I'm talking about these niggas sit up, these dudes sit up all day and critique women. I, I'm surprised they're not fashion designers. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. They sit and they're, they're the fashion police all day long. You went and got these bundles. You got weave. You know, it, it, it was, it, I 
I think I think I heard them talking about um uh some earthquakes or some something supposed to happen overseas in the Middle East somewhere or something. That's yeah. black women fault too because they shouldn't have been wearing weaves. Yeah, it's always it's, it's, it's always something. It, it's it's never well. We as men, we need to stop. We need to change because if she's she can't she's not gonna be able to do it by herself. Yeah. <laughs> she said they're undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Jaleesa, you're crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so it's this that's that be my only issue. And then it's like when all this trauma and pain and happened to uh black women, they are expected to hold it in. They're not allowed to really talk about it. It's like, you know you should have picked somebody else. That's exactly. the answer to everything when it comes to black women. Yeah, choose better, choose better, but nobody wants to hold the black men accountable and stuff. So, yeah. Right. How, how she gonna choose better when, when we teaching her counterpart to use her up? Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. Either she gonna settle or she gonna be alone. Pretty much. It's, unless she runs across that man that say, okay, well, look, I'm done playing games. Let's just go ahead and... uh. I want to find somebody. I'll give you this relationship. But other than that, no. Yeah, like I said, she like how like you said Another before. Thing. She don't ever get a relationship that uh that she ever wants. You know, it's always she always right. Got or, you know, so I, I agree. Right, with compromise or be alone, and a lot mm -hmm. of them do. They get tired, and I think this is like one of black women's biggest downfalls. They get tired of being alone, so they settle for what's around them. Oh, if, nah. I mean. And it, it becomes like a big downfall to me. No, you gotta have but, self self esteem and you know all that good stuff. Love right. Yourself. But every day, like they're being told they ain't good enough. That'll really? tear anybody down. Just like really? how they did black people during slavery. Every day it was you know, they would tell the slave, You stupid, you can't read, you're ugly, you know, all this extra black women, you're a bitch, you're a hoe, you're a thought. It's no different. Yeah. That's all you hearing. Pretty much. We called us niggas all the time. Now we refer to ourselves. <laughs> Call black Pretty women much. bitches and hoes all the time. Now a lot of them refer to themselves as that. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I said you're better off being alone. <laughs> I mean, hey, y'all gonna be alone. Hey, be alone. Let's see. <laughs> Danielle, my ex husband committed adultery and I bounced immediately and was pregnant with our third child. He still 10 years later wants to remarry me. Nope. We have to always stand our ground, even if it means being single for a while, which is, which, okay, learn yourself and heal. That's true, Danielle. I yeah. agree. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But they, it's, it's like the way things are set up against the women, like women are constantly told every day they're not good enough. Yeah. Uh, you need to change this, you need to do this, you need to do that, you don't have, and then uh, just depending on the way they're built up, if you don't have a fat ass, or or, or you know, it's, it's always something with women, you know, some women that does have a psychological effect on, because yeah. let's just be honest, a lot of, everybody wants to be preferred, like a lot of people want to have someone. Yeah. They do. And nobody wants to understand from a woman's side, she just needs to shut up and go pick somebody else. Pretty she much. Should've. Pretty much. Because it was a dude, oh, me and this dude, we was getting into it on Facebook and stuff, and he was a like he was verbally abusive, and he gonna say that I should have had a, a a baby by him. His ugly. I said, well, no, I I don't think so because I don't want I I wouldn't want my child to grow up looking like you and get picked on at school and shit. Yeah. So don't come up here trying to, you know, I, I, I'm good. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but they do. They just sit up and they nitpick all day long. All day. It's the same yeah. thing over and over and over again. Yep, the same. Uh, right what, what can she do? That's all I'm asking. Nothing really. Either be alone or... <laughs> so they... <laughs> Danielle said I'm crazy. He did. We went on for days, girl. He did. It went on for two days. Me and him was going back and forth. He talking about I should have had a, 
a, a babe by him and he sit up here look I told you he looked like some shit out of the, the ocean somewhere a starfish or some shit I'm no I'm not finna put my child through that risking being picked on for looking like their father I yeah. no 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 mm. oh I, I, I mean, it just went on for days. Like, oh, but he that's what he does. He signs on every day. And he'll just go pick some black woman and just pick what I mean, where is where is this hatred coming from? Hey. Where everybody just get up every day and want to attack, attack, attack. Black like, woman every day, day in, day out. It's, it's, it's a new profession, I guess. The same, I'm talking about the same community that you birth. Hates yeah. you now. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's how, that's how it goes. Unfortunately, even that's what it is these days. <laughs> Brilliant mind said animal planet face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could have been like he just he he was an old guy too. He was like in his 40s. He wasn't married or nothing, but he up here. He sign on every day, and he just sit and pick with with uh with black women all day long. And I told him, I was like, "Look, I don't know who he think he uh fucking with, but uh, oh, wow. uh we finna go to her, baby. We gonna do the uh oh, the e uh oh on top of that, <laughs> cause uh you ain't <laughs> you ain't finna pick well, you ain't finna do me like that. But he do, he do all the women like that. He just Get to talking about them and oh, it's um, mm -mm. oh wow, no. that's my foot. That's what I'm saying. She gets shame for 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 what a man did to her, not what she like. Well, she gets shame for some of the things she does too. But yeah, it says a lot of people don't know about self love. So how can you love the next person? That's true too, D. That is true, and and uh, especially black people as a whole, we do have whether we want to admit it or not. A lot of us do have issues with uh, self-esteem and uh, just a lot of things. Yeah, the first uh, thing. We, a lot of us yeah. hate ourselves and we don't even know it. But when you pick it, another black person about their features, that's like self-hate too. Yeah, true. Like saying, okay, well, your eyes are too big or things like that. It, it, it is. It's, yeah. It's clearly he likes to tend. Yeah, Cody, he does clearly... He does. He likes attention. He does that all the time. Every yeah. time me and him have had a run in, I think last year sometime, it was the same thing. I was like, man, I, <laughs> but he hates, he hates, uh, women. So yeah. it's just Fresh. how it is. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of us do struggle with, with self hate and we don't even know it. Like, especially another thing that I've also noticed to me, with us, we're more accepting of dark-skinned men because I know a lot of women who love dark-skinned men. But when it comes down to dark-skinned women, I, I feel like it's not as accepted as much. No, it's not. <laughs> a lot of brothers. I do. I, I think it's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Is he gay?" <laughs> oh, that's what I want to ask. Z. So what? <laughs> so what? Man? That is he that do that I was just telling y'all. Oh, okay. But yeah, I, I do. I, I hate the way we treat, we, you know, we mad at the world for how they have been racist towards us, but a lot of times we do kind of treat each other that way. Yeah, you know, it's all about having love and you know, respecting each other. You know, we, we all we all got through, we all got a past, and you know, we just all about healing and uh, restoring each other back to life, you know? Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't heal with a bunch of uh, dudes who think that they are the new baby alive dolls. I can't do it. No, I mean, I mean, just by just, just just the way how we talk to each other, just respecting each other. We don't have to call each other out of our names and stuff. You know, that's that's how I look at it. But it, it seemed like that's the only way of we as a community know how to even reply to a woman. Like yeah. they just that's their response when she. Say or disagree or something. It's always no, I mean, just about ripping it, we, a woman can, down. I think we can disagree. So, it's, it's always it's always a manner you can. It's always like a matter of profession. You you disagree with you know. You don't have to call each other. This or that, just because you disagree on the topic or issue, you know, you don't have to call each other out their names and stuff. So. Well, I don't. You know, I don't do it until 
it's been yeah. done to me. Yeah. I try to hold back as much as I can. So he yeah. still refused to hold me in a camera. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I try to do it as much. I mean, I try not to. You talking about, he said, we, no, nah, I hold, I hold black men accountable every day. So I don't know where you're getting that from. Oh, no. I talk about black men every day, so. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But, mm, again, the onus is still on the woman. The I mean, woman. It, I mean, it's, it's on, it's, it should be on the men, though, but unfortunately. De Danielle, right. Exactly what you, what you just said. The problem is a lot of is a lot of don't a lot of us don't hold other men accountable for their bad behavior. No, we when a man do something right now, it's gonna be a woman's fault regardless. True. He can go out here right now and go shoot up a whole bank. Know exactly that it's wrong. He ain't had no business doing it, but it's his mother's fault because she didn't raise him right. My mama don't have to tell me not to shoot up no bank. I know not to go out there and do no shit like exactly. that. Exactly. It, it you know, like I know it. On the shelf and say, you know, not, we got to do better. You know, can't keep blaming everybody else. Can't be trying to be the head and not want to take responsibility. Don't be accountable for ashes, you know. So it's on us as black men. We got to do better leading, right, but providing, all that good stuff. <laughs> Amir said women need to be held accountable for, man, women they are do. held they accountable They do. They are accountable for everything. For everything. They including end up doing what uh, other people do. Yeah, you know, including what I'm doing. Always, you know? It's yeah. always on the woman. Always. Even Everything if on the woman, what, what, like, what could she do better? You know, nobody wants to right. criticize it's, the man or what like, she to do. It's like, okay, it's all her fault, you know. I mean, I don't know if people know, like, it's a difference between accountability versus Mary. Money. I, already, I already told you about that situation. Like, he, he should have told her, he should have had it. He, the beer, he, he don't have a standard the beer, for himself. Don't you come over like, here trying to bully us. He don't have a standard for his life. He does not have a standard. He does not have a mission statement. So he's putting up with a woman he should have been been charged a long time ago. So I don't... What? Well, okay, so what is... is I'm with the dude right now that just left an abusive relationship with his wife. So was his wife beating him? I mean, what is it? What do you mean when you say abusive? Abusive. <laughs> abusive. I'm just kidding. Uh, abusive. I mean, you let... You let her know that up front, you're a drama free man. You don't you don't tolerate disrespect. So, if he so do we tell a man? Point, do we tell a man uh, that he should have picked better every time a woman do something to him? No, I mean last time you're blaming because man, that's it, what women are told. It should be, but I mean, look, I, I'm kind of with what I do. You know, next person do if he's in the wrong, I'll call him out. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna just keep it a secret and stuff. If he's been in the wrong, I let him know. Same thing with the sister. I let her know you he, he was wrong on this this issue. So well I mean to me I, I feel like black women give out all the love, the empathy, the uh everything when it comes to a man. But when it's time for her to get that love and empathy and all that stuff back. Yeah. It's never. It's oh, never. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Black men loving, want to have empathy for you? No, not. Oh, no, not a lot of men. They, they don't want to do all that. What's I mean, on? when I How say it's, it's, you? it's a different. Hey, Helen. How are you, Helen? It's, a different, it's different when it comes to, to women. It's like, let's just blame and shame. And, and then they want a woman to spend her whole life blaming and shaming herself. Yeah, that's that's what it is. I I'm not gonna live my life like that. I'm not. Um, and when when you do something wrong to me, that's all you are gonna hear about. Yeah, you know we, like I said, we just gotta do better as blank, blank, blank. Um, can't keep trying to point the fingers. We're designed to be the head, the leaders, the king. You want the crown, but we don't want to, the responsibility to come with the crown. You know. So that's that. what I'm saying. How is it? That you want to, to be respected as a man, you want to be the head, or, or or you're supposed to be the head, but 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 the woman got to take the blame when you yes. do something wrong. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's unacceptable. You know, it's unacceptable to me. If we're in the wrong, we're in the wrong, you know, and we have to take ownership, point blank. And I know some guys that were raised by single mothers that are like good good men. Like, yeah, I don't. 
I don't think that we can keep letting people make excuses of to, no, uh, you can't make excuses, them, of, man. Like you can't make excuses. You know, when you're you're, you're five, six, uh, twelve, thirteen, really cool. Young. You know, you can you can uh you can make those kind of excuses when you're young, you're innocent, you're thirteen, fourteen. When you turn eighteen, twenty one, thirty, forty years old, it's on you to design your life. That's what I was trying to, to tell them. Okay, how long is the excuse I didn't have a father? Look, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because at some point, you're going to have to say, well, look, I ain't had no dad, but look, I know I got this. Aware, aware. Everybody's still very different, but you got to make sure you make a way make a way out as a man. Point blank. That's why That's why I was I was thinking that too. Like, But we do. We allow when a man... We allow the man to make as many excuses as possible. A woman cannot do that. Yeah. It's her fault. Excuses. It don't matter. Yeah. It's True. her fault. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at me. <laughs> I know a woman getting the, the whole check for her husband, yet yeah, she's taking it. Everything women, even not as men for doing, they do it too. But Amiri, as a black man, you cannot keep blaming black women. How are you supposed to be the leader? That's what I'm saying. A woman gonna women. be called out for love. Stop with that, stop with, stop with that nonsense, don't. man. Stop trying to keep blaming women. If you a man, quit all that nonsense. You know, quit trying to blame women and stuff. Come on now. How you supposed to be the head? Keep trying to blame women. They do with it. Okay, yeah, black. Yeah, what women do do they they share. But we are, we're supposed to be the covering. We're supposed to be the covering. We're supposed to take heave of the responsibility. You know what owner. Or CEO keeps blaming the players, or keeps blaming the employees. Right. He takes ownership. Okay, it's on my right. watch. Right. If he it. said, and then also something else that needs to stop. I'm glad you said that, Mr. Andrew. Niggas will call him a simp. Yeah, call him simp. We also have to stop. Oh, I'm glad she said that because we also have to stop making men feel like it's something wrong with them doing right by a woman. No. I mean, since when did that become? When did that become a, 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 a thing for if you, like, even men that want to go home to their kids and, yeah. oh, you, you, uh, uh, I mean, a simp, you this, you that. I mean, oh, what's no, well, wrong? We'll with... probably have to do another video about that, simping and stuff, what that is. I break it all down. You know, what they that is. Demon, not, anything that got something to do with a woman doing right by her treating, it's demonized. Why? <laughs> Because that sounds hate they hate themselves. They hate themselves. They like themselves. They comfortable with their life. They wouldn't get on no brother. Because these same men talking about you simping would not allow you to treat their daughter any kind of way. So right. How you simping? Come Ooh. on. Yeah, it's all good until you get to their daughter. Yeah, your then daughter. Now, you want to be protected? Oh, hold on. So, okay, oh, no. Oh. Nah, I'm but son. you didn't want to talk nah. about that when you was doing that to somebody else's daughter. No, nah, you didn't care about nobody else's daughter. You care about your daughter. You want to be protected and provided for you. But they don't sure. understand. Nah. They don't understand the same what? thing that they are passing down to other men is going to get to their daughter, too. It's, yeah, the same, it it's the same logic. It's the same thing. We're praising these men. It says the dudes they call a simp actually be having whole families and are men that are capable of taking, taking care, care of women. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, what is wrong? But why do we demonize like anything that has something to do with a woman that's positive? If a man want to take up for his woman, he yeah. a simp. He this. He th I mean, what, what? Even in arguments, like men who argue when they be like, oh, you whining like a... that, Yeah. That's something negative towards women. Anything they demonize, anything that's like a woman, like they do. So it's like, so that's why I was saying. I just that's what I that be my whole issue. Yeah, it, it's like how they treat the women is that's my whole issue. But you want her to go out here and still be loyal to you while you yeah. tear her down. Yeah, you know. She said, men like Jonathan, they don't like because he tells the truth. They mad at dudes like him. Yeah, that's true. Nah, you can't. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, like, if you not... Stuff a buck. You know, I'm not really trying to parent nobody. I just see right from wrong. You know, if you're in the wrong, I call you out. I'm not all just trying to get on a woman. This, but it's... Keep it's, 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 stuff balanced. You know? it's, cool to, it's cool to sit and mistreat women. It, that, if you ain't doing that, you ain't cool. 
And oh, what, no. what, what type of effect watch. you think that watch. have? What type of nope. effect do you think that will have on the younger generation of boys coming up? If it exactly. if it's demonized for you to sit and mistreat, like for you to do right by a woman, they sit and call you all these names and and all that. that what? Yeah, I'm wondering like do they? I mean, do you prefer to be with men because they look happier on the pictures when they with they man with their friends instead of when they're on pictures with women? Yeah, so I'm I'm wondering, sure. it, you know. Dudes don't want to do stuff. They just want to flex. Like they're not trying to show no affection, you know. That's what I'm saying. But I, I don't understand the lot. Like, what is the problem? It's always if you do anything nice for you, a simp. If 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 you take up for you, a simp. You, yeah. you It's it's always a problem. I was something going on. You no, know? like I said, that's that's they that's their insecurity. That's their self hatred than themselves. That's the that's the effort they're rejecting. You know, because they're not happy and to be comfortable with themselves. Like, I don't seen where women have been over loyal to a lot of these dudes. Over loyal. Yeah. And still he hand her his whole ass to kiss in return. Yes. Yeah, it never sure. fails. Like, I don't, I, I never understood that. And then, again, the woman is told, okay, well, you should have just picked somebody else. True. You know, you need to always... go somewhere else. It's always it's all her fault. Nobody wants to blame the man, uh, but I'm, that's you know, what I'm so saying. I, I hold I the man accountable because he's supposed to be the head or whatever you want to call it. We're supposed to be the head leader, so we it's on us. So it's yeah. never a problem when you when you call a one and then it, it seems like when you say something to a woman, like yeah. when you call a woman out, it's like oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, that's the type of praise that I see people getting. But when you call a man out, it's it's a problem, honey. It's gonna be a war. Yeah. Like it, it's like, oh, I'm glad you said that because they these women act like they can't be. I mean, women get called out all. Do you know that black men are getting famous for dragging black women? Tommy mm -hmm. Sotomayor, uh, 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 what's the other minister? Jack yeah, things yeah. like that. But women are called out constantly, all yeah. the time, yeah, every day, day in and day yes. out. It's crazy, you know. And she said, I noticed that only single women are mad than men with men wife hoes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's always, <laughs> it's always something. So that's why I say I, I'm tired of it. Like, I, I'm fed up to the point where I just can't Take it no more. It, it, it's, it's everywhere. It is. Pretty much. It's always, it's always something. Like, dragging them like the, it's always something. To do with the yes, woman, like. brilliant mind. Dragging them like the clan members. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, so that's, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't understand why we did not teach both men and women the same thing growing up. Because when you teach... When you teach one that they need to go, get out here, find a man, get married, keep their legs closed, and 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 do the right thing, but you teach the other one, <laughs> or you allow the other one yeah. to be free, yeah. you praise him for how many women he's sleeping with. You got one gender that's looking for love, and now you got one that's just looking for somebody to pray on. Yeah, yeah, Sex. that's true. That's it, true. It, 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 it's true. It's really hard, and and but again, a woman is still expected to pick a better mate. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and regardless, she, she has to choose better. You know, so. that's what I'm saying. Then when she get mistreated so much, sometimes she become the mistreater. Yeah, she only gonna take so much. You trying know, trying to protect her heart. Right? Yeah, you so know. Then it, so now you got guys out here like, okay, well, these women are doing this and these women are doing that. But nobody's looking at what they done, what this woman has been through. Or, or, what has or, been done to her. Or, or, the kind of pain, or, kind, or the kind of pain you inflicted on some of these women that you dated or been involved with, you know? That's what I'm saying. They don't want to see it that way. Do you know what this woman has been through or what has been done to her? Dudes don't want to hear all that. They don't want to hear all that. That's what I'm saying. It's like... They don't care about that. 
That's what I was like. Just get over it. Oh well. Oh well. Right and move on. I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with the last man. If he did you wrong, that's not me. That's not me. Right. But and a lot of them guys also are doing women wrong because of what (laughs) another woman has done to them. Exactly. Yeah, it was just crazy, you know. But the society we live in, you know. They don't teach them better. My own daddy be telling my boys to divide and conquer. Pretty much. Oh, Lord. And see, that, that's toxic, though, brilliant yeah. mind. That is. Like, this is why it's still a disconnect because only one gender is expected to me, it seems like. Only one gender is expected to be this perfect person and, and do the right thing. The other <laughs> one can go out and, 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 and shoot up the hood full of uh, fucking kids. He can do whatever. But only if only one is expected to do right. And I, and I think it has. It divided us really bad. Because yeah, it's like, much. well, dang, you can't you can't expect someone to pick better when we're teaching the person that she is supposed to pick better to ch- mistreat her. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, some will, but some won't. Yeah. It just depends on that person that they run across. That man has to be the one to give her the type of relationship she's looking for. Again, like I say, the women naturally want it, but it, the man has to give it to them. Just yeah, like with right. pregnancy. Women naturally want families and, 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 and uh, husbands and things, but the man has to give her a pregnancy. He got to give her the, the, the marriage, things like that. Yeah, true. And I don't understand how... <laughs> Actually, my legs are over there. Yes, her legs are over. Hey, hey, you know, free, you know, do do you, do you, Cookie? <laughs> hey, do you? Hey, just free well, zone. She's there, I just free zone. Can. Do you have fun? I like it. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it, it's it's really hard, but we have to stop being so hard on or expecting a woman to do everything. They, I, I mean, this community literally think a woman finna come save them. Yeah, I, I really feel like because I've been hearing men say, "Well, we wouldn't do this if y'all wouldn't do this, this, that." And th-. Like it, it's up to her to control you. Yeah, like just don't do it. How about you just don't do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I agree with that. You know, don't do it. Just and you know, just some of the most irresponsible shit I've ever heard a man say is, "She did not make me wear a condom." Oh, man, Why no didn't point. you just put one on? It's your body. <laughs> I mean, well, what the hell made you think that someone else need to come and police you like that? Put on a damn condom. It, it, <laughs> I said, should nobody have to tell you that? Just put it on. Shit. No, but... <laughs> I'm just saying. No, but guys are like, you know what? She has all these options, all these birth control, the morning after pill. If she don't want pregnant, she has all the options. She get an abortion. Right. You can but also, I want to say this, like, in my opinion, I do <laughs> feel like I don't, I, I think that, I don't think women should, and, and don't y'all get mad at me for saying this, but I don't think women should take birth control pills because it is harming our bodies. Yeah. Like it's causing cancer. It's doing a lot to a woman's body that she really probably don't even know some of the issues that's going on in her body. It's a lot of that is from them birth control pills. I do think that a man should should at least take the responsibility to um, cover himself, especially if he knows that he just trying to use this woman up. Why don't you? I, I mean, how are they selective? about who they marry, but not selective about who they finna sign themselves up to pay child support to. I agree. agree. And then complain. I agree. I don't understand. Okay, okay, so... (laughs) All right, so Kimberly said, okay, why are average women... Hold on. Right, Jaleesa, that birth control is what's messing a lot of uh, women up. Okay. Don't okay. Know. Let me let me read this comment. Why are average women shamed by embracing what she wants sexually, but a man put strippers' thoughts on a pedestal over an average woman? 
Yep. Yeah, Show do. Yeah. Who, who said that? Uh, Kimberly. Kimberly Mac. That's right, Kimberly. Yes, they yeah, do. Right. Then they turn around and complain about hoes, but they're the ones who promote hoes. Because if they do. That's true. We do. We do complain, though. That's what I'm saying. What I, I be confused. Like, are you for it or against it? Because you be the main dude on that on that video with this naked woman or whatever you refer to them as. You be the main one on that video, uh, cheering on and 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 then be in the inbox after that. Well, uh, we sharing and like, huh? We lust after those type of women. It's not. We, a lot of guys are like, well, we don't want them. We just want to we lust. We don't like, you know, want them. You know, wives and stuff. Well, believe it or not, I've seen plenty of those type get chose over the so-called good ones. Good women. Yeah, true. Now, I, I don't I know. <laughs> I don't oh, I know. Agree. Okay, I agree. I agree. That's just what you matter when you talk to me. But be the first to talk about black women for choosing thugs, but uh these so-called thoughts and these so-called <laughs> get picked up front first. Yeah, right, so right, right. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, they 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 want that, but complaining about it. So, you know, men are supposed to be logical, but right, really, so that's really why I was saying so. like. And I just, I feel like, you know, if a woman, some sometimes a lot of women do that to get a man's attention. No, yeah, you well, know, I don't. You don't need to suck to me. You can't even do that, really. You don't have a child, I don't think. But I could be wrong. You said what? You can't do no. What? He said should all men get mandatory vasectomy at the age of twenty-one. Mm, I don't think so. I disagree with that. <laughs> she said all men should get it or yeah yeah she said should all men get it i, I mean i i don't i don't think i so. think i think i think if they don't want responsibility yes they need to because uh, a woman taking all them birth control pills i i don't i don't think that that's healthy i like i don't i don't recommend that for women if they choose to do it that's fine but um i do think that men should especially these ones that's constantly complaining about uh uh child support and, yeah. and and responsibility, they should take the initiative to go get a vasectomy because for a woman to get her tubes tied, there's some rules to it because I'm 30 and I still can't get mine tied. So yeah. it, it's some rules to it. I mean, I do uh, that birth control. I, I don't I think I think the man should just take responsibility to cover himself. Yeah, I agree. But again, you know, you got some women that can take it and it doesn't bother them. So true. But again, what is expected out of the men? If the woman is expected to make his grown ass put on a condom, <laughs> she's also expected to make sure his grown ass go to work and work. Uh she's she she got the police his whole move, uh everything he's doing. Yeah. Uh what is expected of him? Like, what is he expected to do? Exactly. That's right. Birth control is not good, Daniel. That's why I I really wish that women would not take it. Yeah. And that just, for me, working in a hospital, just seeing what it did to a lot of women, I do think that guys should at least take that responsibility because a woman got to do everything else. They can at least take the responsibility to cover up their man member down there. <laughs> so <Sure>. Yeah. So <laughs> what he yeah. said Lauren Logan, he said fail. What are you talking? You said <laughs> but again I, I still feel like it, it does need to be some type of expectations out of men. It can't always be expectations Strictly from the women, because I know yeah. women, and then a lot of people try to act like they don't know why uh black women be so mad. Shit, I know exactly why they mad. Got to do everything. Issue. Issue. <laughs> Not only do they got to do everything, they got to take the blame for for shit other humans outside of themselves are doing. Yeah, agree. Yeah, that's true. I'm talking about everything he 
do is go out here and do well that that's his mom fault. She should have told him this. She should have told him that. Yeah. I mean, he's never wrong for nothing he does. So I, I just feel like I, I, I understand there a lot of their anger. Some of it I do. Yeah, I do too. But yeah, though, I I said I don't keep everybody up too late. You know, I gotta get on out of here. All right. You know, well, it was good talking to you, Jonathan. Always, sister. I love y'all. I love you, everybody that chimed in and had a good comments. Appreciate our viewers and uh, well, everybody have a blessed night. You too, bro. All right, peace. Oh, you cut the live thing off. Oh, I know I ain't gonna.